back to the Deadpool and Honey Badger podcast. Boy, the soundtrack for Deadpool and Wolverine is a real banger, am I right? Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be checking out the Deadpool trailer that dropped just last night. Please forgive me. I know I'm in Europe, so it's been a bit since it's out. Most of you have probably already seen it. I've probably already had thoughts about it. But we're going to watch it here. And do let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on this trailer. And if you're looking forward to seeing this movie. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. I know I turn everything into a joke, but I care. And I want to use that for something important. I waited a long time for this team up. In my world, you're well regarded. You are an expert. Oh, yeah. Fuck that, you were the X-Men. The Wolverine. He's a hero in my world. Yeah, well, he ain't shit in mine. This god used to beg me to wear this suit. So did Storm, the beast. But I couldn't have him thinking I wanted to be there. And it was too late. Only nine people, but my entire world is right here in this picture. And I have no idea how to save it alone, but you, you know how to save it. Whoever you think I am. You got the wrong guy. You were always the wrong guy. Yes, you I weren't. think it is. Are you ready? Fuck yeah, I'm ready. I'm the Wolverine. Stop it. <laughs> nice. I like that. So we are getting Deadpool and Wolverine in less than a week now, the 26th of July. I am looking forward to this. This is one that I think I will actually have to figure out how to go to the theater and watch it in English, not in German. But that's always, you know, com yeah, mm, not an easy task. I'm looking forward to this. It looks awesome. The trailer really makes me think that. And don't get me wrong, it feels like we have surpassed the era of woke. And let's bring in some good writing, some deep thought. What is most important? The nine people in that picture that Deadpool is holding up. That is what is important. Your family. It's it's kind of based because in today's world, it just doesn't seem like. That is what is really important is bullcrap. That's all I'm going to say to it because we aren't a political channel. Now, that being said, there are a few things where I'm kind of like, mm, 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 mm. take a look at that yellow suit. That Wolverine is wearing. Yes. Looks awesome. It looks great on him. Now, there were a few things here and there. He didn't want to come back to play the X-Man Wolverine anymore. Hugh Jackman was done with it unless it took a serious turn. And I think that they actually did this. Ryan Reynolds, I think this movie is actually going to be good going to be good writing it's not going to be like something like the acolyte that we saw where ai could have written a better story
We also get Miss Deadpool, female Deadpool, whatever. And I have to I have to do this. I mean I mean Um, um nope, not going to expose myself today, like I did with the cat girls. Anyway, that being said, we also got the first look at X23, who is none other, none other than Daphne Keen, who played in the Acolyte. I don't know what to think about that. We'll see. We'll see. That's all that I can, th I can say to that. Thank you all for stopping by. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the trailer, what you liked, what you didn't like. Are you going to see this movie in the theater? Or are you going to wait until it is on Disney Plus? For free, basically. Let me know. Hey, if you like this video, smash that like button. Or if you didn't like it, you know, give me a thumbs down. Consider subscribing, and if you do, hit that bell for notifications because that is the only way that YouTube knows that you are interested in getting my videos. Thank you for stopping by, and until next time, take care.